Today we're throwing eight of the world's top fitness influencers into a vicious cage to battle it out against one another for the ultimate bragging rights and $1,000 to a charity of their choice. The twist is, the vicious cage is actually my stomach and they're battling it out with their go-to pre-workout meals. Our first face-off is our number one seed, Chris Bumstead, with 18.7 million followers versus our eighth seed, Brownie. What's going on guys, Chris Bumstead here. My favorite pre-workout meal, probably boring, but it's chicken, rice, pineapple, cover it in some salt, and just for a little fun, I like to have a banana muffin. Get extra carbs for a sick pump. Hey, what's up guys, it's Brownie, and my favorite pre-workout meal, besides Will, of course, is a bowl with fruits and yogurt. Chris, Stan, Brownie is Stan, for those of you guys who didn't know. Two of my favorites in the industry. Stan, I thought we would never reference your trip to Canada. But let's just take a moment of appreciation for Sebum, that following that he has built over time, over triple my boy John Mayer. Insane. I can't stop looking at his, so we're gonna start with his first, Mr. Olympia himself. So chicken and rice sounds pretty basic, but the pineapple, you know, leaves room for intrigue. It's nice to know a man doesn't just think of himself when it comes to the gym. You have to wonder if the pineapple's ever helped him convince a judge. Kind of like you started to make a fried rice and then you bailed halfway, but it is still really good. I love the sweet and savory. The juices from the pineapple kind of like dispersed through the rice and the rice kind of received it. So it gives like this nice fruity accent, which is super tasty. Mm hmm The salt is good. Now the muffin, that muffin. This is not a very relatable meal to most people because if you eat this every day before every workout, you will look like a muffin. Not everybody's gonna be able to handle the calories that Chris Bumstead can handle, but we're just gonna go with it here, okay? I'm gonna opt for the top. That doesn't mean I don't take the bottom from time to time. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. This is just, this is great. Solid start for the champ, solid start. Moving over here to Brownie. He did his homework with the Greek yogurt base. So he actually uses 300 grams of yogurt or cork. I don't know what that is. I don't have cork in Canada. So we have Greek yogurt and he adds lemonade flavor drops to the yogurt. So this could be delicious or it's time to unsubscribe to Stan right away. We've got banana, we've got blueberry. Perfect opportunity out of brownie. I don't know what he's doing. Here we go. Wow, zesty. I never thought to think to add lemon drops to my yogurt. Obviously it's missing some texture. Maybe he has a higher demographic of older folks that just can't chew. But I think we have a clear winner here. So moving on, Chris Bumstead. Next up, our second seed, Lean Beef Patty versus Greg Doucette. Hey everyone, it's Coach Greg and my favorite pre-workout meal, it's a chocolate peanut butter rice cakes. So usually have six of them. Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite pre-workout meal. One serving of old-fashioned oats. One scoop of protein powder, some peanut butter powder mixed together. Next, I add in some frozen fruit, some bee pollen, and some honey. And that is it. This also happens to be my breakfast because I prefer to work out in the morning. Ideally, I'll get to the gym in about an hour and begin my workout. Thank you for watching. Patty, thank you for the tutorial. And given your name, I was not expecting a meat-free morning here, but we got ourselves a beautiful bowl of oatmeal, protein oatmeal, but she definitely kicked it up a notch with the bee pollen. With, that's an unexpected twist, so hopefully we get all the, the swelling without the sting. I'm assuming the bee pollen has a, a number of health benefits that I don't even know what they are, so we'll throw some up on the screen right now. But damn, it's adding a nice little crunch to it, and the fact that there's PB2 in here, with like the, the berries and like the honey. It's kind of like a blended peanut butter and jam sandwich. Mmm, Patty has got something special here right now. Moving on to Mr. Greg Doucette. Now, can we all just take a moment to appreciate or just acknowledge the fact that he did not promote his cookbook in that little skit right there. So this must be the real deal or that was an AI Greg. We have 
plain rice cakes, which for me is just docking points immediately because you could use the caramel corn ones, you could use the chocolate chip ones. The plain ones just taste like wall. This kind of looks like a, you know, a penitentiary bagel with peanut butter and banana, you know? Mm -hmm. Tastes like wall. This is so heavily reliant on the protein powder that you use that if the protein powder that you use sucks, this is just gonna be awful. Luckily, the protein powder I'm using is amazing, which is rescuing this thing right now. But I am underwhelmed. However, I will say I'm very proud of him. Not too many artificial sweeteners, not too many chemicals. I was expecting a whole lot more. But it's not half bad. I love PB2. They both offer a little hint of that, but nothing beats the real peanut butter. That's a comparing logic to M&M. You just can't do it. But the fact that they both have it, even playing field. Lean beef, you're moving on to the semifinals. Coming in with our third seed, it's seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath versus Derek, AKA more plates, more dates. What's up you guys, it's seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, and my favorite pre-workout meal is steak and sweet potato. Hey everyone, this is Derek. My favorite pre-workout meal is cream of rice, about 80 grams of carbs, give or take, a couple scoops of whey protein, half tablespoon of peanut butter, get some fat to balance out the glucose spike, kind of drag it out a bit, sprinkle some cinnamon on top. That's usually what I do to top it off. Delicious, efficient, <laughs> does the job, hits all the vectors I need as far as macros, digestibility, efficient. Derek was really trying to sell us with his meal here towards the end, and once he said vectors, he lost me in the high school calculus flashbacks kicked in. We got cream of rice with two scoops of protein here, so we're sprinting our way to hit our protein quotas. A whole lot of swoll in a bowl. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. What's that saying? They say like, if you can make a girl laugh, you can make her do anything. If you give a bodybuilder real peanut butter, <laughs> you can have your way with me. It is a nut worth getting teased by. Even half a tablespoon in this thing, makes his presence known. I also think this thing will keep you full for a very long time because I think it's just gonna sit in my stomach and it has no plans on leaving anytime soon. You could fill a pothole with this thing. Like you could seal a wound with it. Like I feel like I'm digging a grave every time I go in for a bite. If I could critique it, it just needs a banana. But maybe, that, maybe that's just my throat projecting. <laughs> Moving on to Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia. I love the guy. He's pretty much my Gymshark dad. He specified his favorite steak is a filet mignon cooked medium. Right away, losing points. I think even PETA would say that's like the worst kind of animal abuse possible. Very staple meal, bodybuilder, old school. Like I feel like if it's a, a current bodybuilder, there'd be like some like Walden Farms drizzled on top and et cetera. But aren't we all striving to one day be able to afford having a filet mignon before every workout? Like this is just such a unrelatable meal, you know? Beef. Now I know very well, Phil likes to decorate a blank canvas. So I was kind of shocked that there's nothing on the sweet potatoes, just baked nothing. But they do say, bodybuilders do say, sweet potato is like candy. That's like saying Tic Tacs are just straight MDMA. They're not. Oh, so good though. It's such a simple meal, but at the same time, it is such a flex. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't associate this with a pre-workout meal. I associate this with a post-workout meal. Like I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna train to hit a PR and go home because I deserve that filet mignon. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not gonna have a filet mignon and then potentially skip the gym. But still, beef. <laughs> but it's beef enough to take Phil to the semis. I think so. Phil, you're moving on. The final battle in the first round is our fourth seed, Chloe Ting versus Matt Does Fitness. Hello, everyone, it's Matt Does Fitness, obviously. And my favorite pre-workout meal is fried egg bagels with a single kiwi. Enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Chloe here, and here's my favorite pre-workout meal. It's avocado and egg on toast. Well, very similar looking dishes here. Two egg dishes. Gonna start with Chloe Ting. 
Very nice of her to add a little bit of a photography on the side. I knew she was gonna be more artsy than anabolic. There's no doubt in my mind she'd be the aesthetic champion of this tournament here. And we're gonna go in now. So avocado toast, I expected nothing less. I'm just gonna pick it up. This is, that's not my forte, here we go. Whoa, whoa, the oregano. The oregano on the eggs, I've never done that before. That is a nice touch. I think she's onto something. The texture is great, the creaminess of the avocado, the crunchiness of the toast. But it's putting me more in brunch vibe rather than pre-workout vibe. Moving on to Matto's Fitness. I half expected it to be McDonald's, but here we are with two bagels, fried eggs, and a whole kiwi here. A lot of butter. Matt does butter, more like it. See, this egg is what should be on here. I think of avocado toast. I think of a seductive, runny yolk. I didn't get that there. So I'm gonna dock her some points. Ooh, this is pretty good. The butter is making it a bit heavy. Like I feel like I'm gonna be feeling gross before I go to the gym. I'll turn the bench into like a slip and slide or something like that. If you guys didn't know, Matt is a pretty big troll. He makes up a lot of bullshit, like he did with this kiwi. So he said he eats this whole with the skin still on it. We all know he's lying. Like we all know it, Matt. We all do. I guess you don't care about winning for charity, Matt. But I'm gonna just. Corey, you're moving on. We have now made it to the semifinals. Okay, we can switch the lights now. Sea <laughs> bum versus Chloe. Two muscles colliding here. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go back with Sea bum. Sea bum left an imprint in me, and I really enjoyed it. You know what? Let's start with the muffin first. I'm gonna go for the bottom. See, guys, I told you. If you eat this thing, you've committed to a lot of calories and your macros for the rest of the day are shot. But then if you go to the gym and have a bad workout, you're gonna feel bad about the fact that you had the muffin. You know, so this muffin is doing a lot of damage right now. Now let's try this rice again. I think it's gonna taste just like the first round. Mm -hmm. This is a meal that you have when you're gonna to go to the gym to train. Not just work out, not go through the motions, to train. Like you're Mr. Olympia. Moving over to Chloe's. I mean, we're in like, this is a world different thing right now. Like this is like, I woke up late, go for brunch, could skip the gym, but it's still good. It's still tasty, it's reliable. There's nothing more to say about it. I feel like the one piece of toast is bothering me. I want two, so it's not enough. So Seabum, you're well on your way to becoming the champion again. You're going to the finals. So who's it gonna be? Who's going against Seabum? I hate seeing Muscle Mommy and Muscle Daddy in a fight. It just sucks. We have Lean Beef Patty versus Phil Heath. And I have no idea what's gonna happen right now because they are both strong competitors. So let's start with Lean Beef Patty. Back with the protein oats. You know what I realized right now that I didn't realize last round? Something magical is happening here. Like a lot of things, once it gets warm, the juices are gonna come out for you. The berries got warm on the oats and the, the juices came out for me but then the honey infiltrated that juice and it kind of turned into a jam. And that's magic. And I am partial to a sweet breakfast, so I don't know. Moving on to Phil. Now, you know, when you think of Phil Heath and you think of steak, you think of like a big tomahawk steak, not a little petite filet. And I think mignon in French means cute. I don't associate Phil, no, Phil's cute. Phil is cute. I don't associate pre-workout with cute. I want to feel like I am dangerous. You know, not cute. But it is beef. The one thing that Patty has the edge over Phil is that this has room, to, you know, you can kind of mix it up. You can add a different protein powder in daily. Have fun with it. This, it's pretty set in its ways. Like filet, it's filet. Sweet potato, nothing on it. Okay. I might need to call in a friend. This is a tough decision right now. I don't want either of them to be mad at me. But who would I rather be mad at me? 
I'd rather Phil be mad at me. Lean beef. It's you versus Seabum in the finals. There, I said it. <laughs> It's down to our number one and number two seeds, Chris Bumstead versus Lean Beef Patty. For this round, I'm gonna be eating the entire meal, then going to the gym to complete a workout in order to see how my performance is beyond just the taste and enjoyment. Good morning, everybody. We have shoulders and arms to get to, but for the pre worker meal, we are in the middle of having sea bums, which is the banana muffin and the rice, chicken, and pineapple. Alongside Seabum's meal and Patty's meal, I'm gonna have my same pre-workout combo, which is just my regular pre-workout. Five grams of creatine and some glycerol. If you wanna save, code will, as always. I have high expectations with this. I feel like I'm just like ready. The fact that it's arm day too, it's exciting stuff. Immediately starting the workout, I felt great. I had lots of energy, felt strong, and I almost got a pump instantly. And I feel like I have the muffin to thank for that. With the intensity I brought to the gym today, I kind of felt like I became my own little sea bum. We got my Joe from you hat on. Don't I look like Joe from you? I think I do. But we have Lean Beef Patty's pre-workout meal here. We switched it up today. So the other day we used cookies and cream, threw in some chocolate peanut butter oatmeal with the same old things on top. And I'm excited for this. It just smells so good. That bee pollen and the honey, it is just, it's so good. There's like savory, sweet, we got chest and back coming up. So let's see who wins. We have done three sets so far at 270 pounds and I've got 10 reps for all of them. If I get 10 reps on my fourth set, that is a PR my friends. And that is courtesy of Lean Beef Patty. Bee pollen. <laughs> the difference between Ski Bum's meal and Patty's meal, Ski Bum's meal, I actually felt kind of full coming to the gym. It took me a little bit of time to digest. Whereas Patty's was not that big. I feel like I haven't even eaten, but I don't feel hungry. I think like I had just enough that I have energy and I feel sharp but I don't feel sluggish at all. So it's a nice feeling. Just wrapped up my workout. It was amazing. Honestly, both pre-workouts are a solid option because both of my workouts were amazing. I hit PRs in both of them. So very much so enjoyed it. But there was one that stuck out to me. And it stuck out to me because not only did it taste good, they had variety, but it also helped me mentally in my workout. So the winner is... Seabum. He has to win it. He always wins. He doesn't lose. It's just the perfect balance of having like the fast carbs, the protein, the animal protein over just like the whey protein. It's just, it's just a masterpiece. You don't have to have the whole muffin. Just have a bit. Well-deserved sea bum. Thousand dollars charity of your choice. If you guys like the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.